Well, officials say there have been several cases of stolen artifacts at the Markle Mill Dam site. Yeah, as we have told you, county officials voted to demolish Markle Mill Dam over safety concerns. But officials now say people are breaking off pieces of the stone archway next to where the dam was. Zach Stidham was at the demolition site and tells us more about this situation. Zach. Well, this area classifies as an archaeological site, meaning that it's protected by both state and federal laws. The demolition of the Marco Mill Dam was a very bittersweet moment for a lot of Vigo County residents. The dam had been completely compromised, and the demolition was the only way to save the surrounding mill site. However, with every end comes a new beginning. James Heimlich, an archaeologist with Orbis Environmental Consulting, says he explains this demolition was opened up a brand new, vibrant waterway. We've gained a new waterway that's going to be vibrant with life. And we've gained a lot of history looking at how this dam was constructed, some of the earliest concrete I've ever seen in the state. Early, uh, a very interesting dam construction I've never seen in the state. Of this dam has caused people in the community to want to save some of it before its demise. And Heimlich says people have been taking parts of the stone archway, potentially shortening its lifespan. Heimlich also adds things of this nature are not only morally wrong, but also legally. There are state and federal laws that protect archaeological sites. This whole area around the mill site and the dam is an archaeological site. And state law prohibits digging and looting and destroying any archaeological sites. There would be severe repercussions if anyone is caught doing that. Officials want to remind everyone that we are the ones that safeguard history so that the future generations can enjoy it the same way that we do. Back to you. All right, thanks so much.